Hi there, Trevor here from Double Wheel Movies. Well, it's Friday, it's the weekend, it's sunny. So, what do we do? An unboxing. <laughs> now, you can see there, a rather special Second Sight box set. Now to me, what I have here is also a very special Second Sight box set. We've been waiting a long time for this. Um, now I know I have it on a Friday, it's not actually out till Monday. Um, I've not been sent it earlier or anything, it's just my post. Uh, <laughs> I can't complain. Anyway, it is Dog Soldiers. Just make sure I had it up the right way there, because I've not really looked at this. Um, I've literally just got it out of the cardboard packaging. Um, thought I'd show it to you guys. Uh, well, and me. Look at it together, yeah? <laughs> right. So, how many of you guys have uh, ordered this and have been waiting a long time for it? Um, I only have this on DVD. I have not seen it for years. Now this film is the last film to officially give me a nightmare. Um, I was unemployed at the time, <laughs> so my brain was pretty dead. And uh, I was around a mate's house and we watched this. I think we watched Ghost Ship as well, uh, which I really like. Um, but uh, there we go, there's the cellophane off. And yeah, we watched this and I really enjoyed the film. Um, I thought the, the werewolves in it were absolutely brilliant. Um, and I just thought the story was really, really good. Anyway, that night I literally got woken up, sat bolt upright because I was scared. <laughs> I was having a nightmare. Um, bizarre thing was everything was black. I couldn't see anything. There was no visuals. Uh, I just got woken with a start. Um, anyway. That's then, <laughs> this is now, this is a 4K, um, and this is a stunning box set. Um, there's the J card, not stuck on, it's just resting on it. It's uh, limited edition contents. Rigid slip case with new artwork by Chris Melvin. 108 page book with new essays by Craig Ian Mann, Alison um, Piers A, sorry if that's wrong Alison, um, Zoe Rose Smith, Anya Stanley, exclusive interview with Neil Marshall by Matthew Thrift, interview with David E. Allen plus behind the scenes photos, six collector's art cards. So, it's a new restoration approved by director Neil Marshall and director of photography Sam McGrudy. Now, actually, if you think about it, the better person to approve the visuals is the director of photography or the DP as they're known. Um, because obviously they're the ones that actually set up the cameras and shoot the what you see on screen. Um, the director doesn't just say cut or action or whatever, you know, they give actors direction, but so that's good that both of them have been involved with the restoration of this. Um, so 4K UHD and Blu-ray with bonus features on both formats. Um, 4K UHD presents in Dolby Vision HDR, archive audio commentary by director Neil Marshall, archive audio commentary by producers David E. Allen and Brian O'Toole, a new audio commentary by writer and associate and yeah, Associate Professor of Film, Alison Pearsay. I'm sorry, Alison. Um, Werewolves, Crawlers, Cannibals and more. A new 40-minute interview with Neil Marshall. Um, History of Lycanthrope. Or Lycanthropy, if you want to pronounce it that way. Um, author Gavin Bradley on Werewolf Cinema. That's going to be interesting. And um, Werewolves, Folklore and Cinema, a video essay by author um, Michael J. Coven. Uh, Werewolves v. Soldiers. <laughs> um, the Making of Dog Soldiers with Neil Marshall, producers Christopher Fig and Keith Bell. Actors Sean Pertwee, Kevin McKidd, Darren Moffat, Leslie Simpson and Emma Cleesby. Um, special effects artists Bob Keane and more 
A Cottage in the Woods, an interview with production designer Simon Bowles. Uh, that's an appropriate name for dog soldiers, isn't it? <laughs> um, Combat, a short film by Neil Marshall. Gag reel with optional commentary by Neil Marshall. Trailers and photo gallery. It's going to be fun packed movie. And bonus features. So. There's the back of the box. There's the cottage. And. There's the spine. Nothing really top and bottom, just the uh, the wraparound carries on. Um, so let's see. So it's like the discs are housed in a digipack. Another cool piece of artwork there. And then we have no artwork in the uh, underneath the trays, but um, there's your two discs. So we got uh, UHD and Blu-ray. So I hope that the film is on Blu-ray because I want to see it in HD. <laughs> um, no idea when I'm ever going to get to a 4K setup, but I definitely will have one because I wouldn't be buying all these otherwise. I would just stick to Blu-ray. But I like to see, I like things to be the best they can ever be. Um, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, I have to say, and something I've actually had to curb quite a bit over the years. Um, that takes some doing, I have to say. So, um, these art cards are literally just that. The art from the box, um, that's the art from the Digipack. It's the front cover. What else we got there? So you're seeing this before me, so I'm going to have a look now. Helps if I hold it up the right way, doesn't it? So it's a screen grab. It may not be a screen grab because I don't know if the colour palette is actually like this in the movie um, or whether they've stylized these for these art cards. Um, aha! Star of the show. <laughs> what an amazing outfit. That's uh, just incredible. And the way they got them to stand on their hind legs um, on the stilts and everything. Um, there we go. I look forward to watching this. See if I can give myself another nightmare. Eh? <laughs> right, that actually goes a second. Put it down over there. Dog soldiers, field notes. There we go. See if I can do this, eh? Yeah, not really doing a great job, am I? <laughs> but it's for you to get and for you to look at yourself. You don't really need to sit and read it off of here, do you? Um, behind the scenes. Mm. There'll be image gallery behind the scenes. What else we got? An interview with Neil Marshall. Um, so there we go. Dog Soldiers. The long awaited 4K box set from Second Sight. Get this up the right way. There we go. So I understand one of the reasons for the delays um was there was a bonus feature that they've not been able to include on this um which means basically going back and reauthoring the disc i think um and that would be why you know if you saw my interview with john um from movie collector and or even my little series on how physical media is made you'll understand why the delay because it's taken them a couple of months to get the disc sorted in the first place then if you've got to go back and reauthor things because you've got to take something off, um, then you still have to go through most of the checks um, to make sure that 
in the process of making a new disk that something hasn't gone wrong with any of the files. So um, hence the delay. But obviously we were kept up with emails um, from Second Sight to say, hey, look, this is what's going on. This is going to be delayed again. Um, it's finally, though, it's here. And I think it's a lovely box set. Anyway, I did have another video planned um, for Friday, for today. Uh, the, what are we, the 19th? Um, it may still turn up a bit later on. Um, it is whatever time it is um, recording this. Uh, it must be nearly 20 past half past four um, Friday afternoon. Um, so yeah, I might have my actual video, which was supposed to be on packaging. Um, now, just my thoughts on why I think Arrow have done lots of duplicate packaging for their Blu-ray box sets and then a few months later releasing a 4K version and that sort of thing. So if you're intrigued, if you're sort of like, well, why do they keep doing this? Then hopefully this video, video will answer some of your questions. If it doesn't go up this evening, um, then I shall make sure I get it up tomorrow. Um, I won't leave it till Monday. Hopefully I can get some more videos made over the weekend for next week. So please like and subscribe. I um, hope you get your copy soon of Dog Soldiers. I hope you enjoy watching it and anything else you do this weekend. And take it easy.